Welcome to the iPod Touch Second Generation Take Apart Guide. You see the second generation has no bezel that surrounds the screen, as does the first generation. There are four clips on the right side that hold the glass digitizer panel on. And on the left side, there are three. At the top, there is one in the middle, and on the bottom, there are two on each side of the dock connector. Now you'll need to get a putty knife and slide it gently between the rubber gasket and the metal back casing to get to the clips to pop them open. This can be quite difficult and time consuming, so take your time and don't bend the glass too much because you can crack it. You should be able to loosen one side. When you do that, just move to the other side and release those clips so that you can take off the glass digitizer panel. Be careful when opening the iPod. You will notice there is a cable at the top left hand corner. You will have to get a flat tool to release that connection. Just gently slide it underneath the cable and remove it. Now you will notice the copper tape along the top right hand corner of the LCD. Gently slide your flat tool underneath to remove that tape so that you can take the LCD loose. Also notice the small Phillips screw on the top left hand side of the LCD. You will have to remove that to get the LCD out. Now take your putty knife or a flat tool to get it underneath the LCD so as to remove it. The LCD is adhered and you'll have to gently pry it loose. After you flip back the LCD you will notice seven screws, four on the right side and three on the left. Remove those. They are Phillips screws. Now notice the cable that is connected to the bottom part of the logic board. Get your flat tool to remove that connection. Now get a small flathead screwdriver and slide it between the clips and the back case to remove the LCD bracket. Once that is loose, just gently pry it up and remove it. And now you can also remove the LCD panel. Now you will notice the battery. It is small and thin. This sometimes connects itself to the back of the LCD bracket. You will notice as well that this is soldered on. When you look at the top section of the logic board you see a small cable as well as three small Phillips head screws. You will have to remove these Phillips screws.
Now you can pry up on the hinge-like lock that holds the small ribbon cable in. Gently remove the cable. Now notice the four screws on the bottom part of the logic board. Two hold the headphone module in, and there are also one on each side of the dock connector. Remove these four Phillips screws. Now go back to the top. Get your flat tool and gently pry up on the top part of the logic board. You'll notice the black cable is adhered to the back case. Gently pry up on this as well. Once you have the top part loose, gently remove the bottom. Now to remove the antenna cover, just gently press on it. It will pop out. Remove the last small ribbon cable that holds the power button and the volume buttons. There are four screws. Remove these four Phillips screws. Two are on both sides of the power button. And two are on both sides of the volume button. Just gently pry up on the cable and remove it. Now the buttons will just simply pop out. And that is how you take apart the iPod Touch second generation.